So the Academy of Medical Educators uh, is a, a really a great organization within the Department of Medicine. It, it, it was designed by our former chairman uh, to be a place where uh, really superb educators and really people with an excitement and an interest around education where our faculty could come together and, and really be innovative and design new educational programs um, and help our other faculty uh, become uh, better teachers, uh, just uh, amazing, amazing educators. It's an organization that uh, really is, uh, I think, a pinnacle area for teaching within the Department of Medicine. How, how does the Academy of Medical Educators help, uh, help the trainees, especially our residents and fellows? Well, the Academy offers uh, uh, expert consultation for teaching and education, uh, and that can go to faculty members, that can, can go to uh, fellows or residents, and, and that is based on their request. And so we, at times, will get requests for consultation on uh, how do I be a better teacher on the wards? How do I uh, do better at teaching on a PowerPoint presentation? How do I do better at teaching uh, when I need to give a poster presentation? And so we offer those services on an ongoing basis based on individual requests. We uh, have started through Dr. Kimberly Manning uh, a couple of great things. One is the Fellows T Teaching Competition, which happens annually and is a really a spectacular event that really highlights and showcases the amazing teaching that our fellows do. Um, and, and then the other thing with the residents, very similar or analogous, is the uh, you, would, you might call it resident teaching competition, but it's, we call it beast mode teaching, which is bite-sized teaching competition. Uh, and that happens on a almost monthly basis uh, within our program. And our residents love it. They get a chance to put together very short six to 10 minute uh, presentations uh, where they can highlight their teaching skills, but also really get some key points across for some, uh, for some really important uh, medical conditions or disease processes uh, or just pathophysiologic processes. So uh, I think those are really uh, some uh, spectacular innovations that have happened in the last few years. Um, the Academy of Medical Educators also uh, does bring in education, national education speakers uh, on a regular basis and we, uh, and we also partner with the School of Medicine uh, for the uh, essentially the School of Medicine's Education Day, uh, where we bring in really amazing uh, speakers and really well-known individuals. Our department, by design, has a strong interest in educators within the department. And so from a faculty standpoint, we see that there's value, uh, that education is valued within the department. In, that value uh, essentially translates into uh, faculty having a real interest on how to be a, a great teacher, how to learn about new innovations in med medical education. And so I think that the faculty are, always have a focus on this. That's going to trickle down and translate into our fellows and, and residents uh, and students uh, having some interest in education and it also just translates into uh, uh, high quality uh, teaching and learning among all the trainees in the department.